I'm Liz Faubus with a look at some of the stories on tonight's edition of Currents. Tim Kaine and Mike Pence facing off in the first and only vice presidential debate of 2016 at Longwood University in Virginia. The verbal sparring lasting 90 minutes. Tonight we bring you the highs, the lows, talk of faith, and a night replete with interruption after interruption after, well, you get the point. And voter registration in our area, always important, which is why we always bring you all the information you need to ensure your all set when it comes to head to the polls on November 9th. We are just over a month away. Are you ready? Katie Angusser's got you covered. Well, Michelle Powers reports from the Rosary Rally with Catholic students across the Brooklyn Diocese and the Mets having secured the top National League wildcard spot hosting a win or go home game against the Giants at City Field tonight. Tim Harfman talks to diocesan priests who just happen to be diehard Mets fans for more, sending out some prayers to the Amazons, no doubt. And the commissioner of the Administration for Children's Services in an interview saying she is coming to terms with the fact that she can't protect every child. She makes the comments in the wake of the death of six-year-old Zamir Perkins. Hurricane Matthew passing over Cuba, continuing its destructive path toward the Bahamas and the U.S. It's leaving behind a trail of devastation, including at least 11 deaths and a subway conductor and some train passengers helping save the life of a woman and her young child after she threatened to jump on the tracks in Manhattan. Yep, that's our city at its best. Tune in tonight for more beginning at 7.30 p.m. sharp. Time Warner Channel 97, Cablevision Channel 30, Fios 48, and online at netny.tv. I'm Liz Fobles, always looking forward to seeing you guys.